Star Wars 7x7 episode 2950. Hey, happy August 1st to you. Yes, a new month is beginning and you know what that means. It's time to look at what is going to be new in the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Riser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So as we do in these monthly episodes, these monthly previews, there are 12 categories where Star Wars storytelling may be effective that we cover. And it's always fun for me to try to remember all 12 off the top of my head. So here we go. Movies, live action, animation, books, short stories, comics, audiobooks, I think that's seven, merchandising, video games, virtual reality, live events, and streaming. Yeah, that's all 12. Wow, that's maybe the easiest I've gone through them. So let's start off with the movie situation, which is really kind of a big unknown. At this moment, we keep hearing things about maybe Taika Waititi's movie is going to be moving forward and possibly moving forward more quickly than anybody expects, and definitely, possibly, maybe quickly quicker than the Patty Jenkins movie is going to be moving. I mean, Patty Jenkins' movie had a script as far as we knew, and I guess it was being reworked, and we haven't heard anything about it since. So, yeah, those two movies are definitely the ones jockeying for position at this point. We just don't necessarily know which one is going to be the one that's ultimately made first. We just have a pretty strong sense that it's not going to hit the December 2023 release date. There is something happening later this month that may give us a little bit more insight about that, and I will get to that when we get to that category of discussion. But for right now, pre-production work on the Patty Jenkins movie is definitely underway, and pre-production work for the Taika Waititi movie is probably underway. If it isn't yet, then it's definitely going to be starting up very soon. So that's the status with the movie situation. On the live action front, oh boy, we have... <laughs> have a lot going on. And the big news this month is that the Andor series premieres. August 31st will be the first episode of the 12 episode Andor series. I mean, it does kind of feel like Obi-Wan just ended and we're going to be having another series like right after that. So cool and so awesome to be a Star Wars fan right now when all this great new stuff is coming out. So yeah, that's the big thing happening this month, the start of the Andor series. Meanwhile, Mando Season 3 has finished shooting. That happened a couple of months ago and is now in post-production, anticipating a February 2023 release. The Ahsoka series is still filming, and they will hit the three-month anniversary of filming on August 9th. We don't know how long their filming is going to go on because we don't know how many episodes there are in the series, but you would imagine that it might go on all the way into, you know, September or October. Maybe? I mean, maybe to October if it's, you know, at least six episodes. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see, but definitely going to continue shooting all this month. The next live action series that's supposed to come out is Skeleton Crew. That's the one being helmed by or co-helmed by John Watts of the current Spider-Man movies fame and also featuring Jude Law and taking place during apparently the same time period as the Mandalorian situation. They kind of gave us an impression that maybe it was happening closer to Return of the Jedi, but now it seems like it's actually happening more in the Mandalorian time frame about kids that uh, get lost basically and need to find their way home. So yeah, that rumor has it has started filming like we don't know for sure and there hasn't been any confirmation from Lucasfilm but there are rumor reports out there alleging that it started filming in late June so that would be pretty amazing but I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been an official announcement about it yet even you know considering that we are a month on from when it was rumored to have started. Then the last one to talk about is The Acolyte, which is in pre-production actively. I think that's the only other one that we know of, at least, that's in active pre-production. And that there are rumors kicking around about it possibly starting to film in October. Obviously, don't know for sure. There have been casting rumors, but definitely fewer casting rumors about that series than there have been about the Ahsoka series and about Mando Season 3. So, yeah, it's definitely a little quieter as far as that series goes, so it's definitely going to be interesting to hear a little bit more about that and hopefully we will be in the coming months maybe not necessarily this month but yeah definitely as we get closer to the alleged october principal photography start 
So that's the live action front. On the animation front, Bad Batch is coming next month. So yeah, they are probably doing finishing touch stuff on there right now. But yes, we are very close to season two of the Bad Batch, which means that we're going to be for a number of weeks getting both Andor and the Bad Batch, which is crazy. I mean, yeah, when talking about how awesome it is to be a Star Wars fan right now with all the great content, they're going to be doubling up on us. So yeah, very cool and maybe even tripling up on us because Tales of the Jedi is coming also. And we don't necessarily know when, just sometime in the fall, maybe late fall. Don't necessarily know for sure, but that is also you know near to completion as well. Then there's the droid story thing, which you know maybe Anthony Daniels was doing something for that earlier this year. Maybe he wasn't, but it's been radio silence on that thing for a long time. So yeah, it would be nice to hear something about that. But unfortunately at this point, because it's been quiet so long it's going to be a surprise when we finally hear something about it and then stuff is undoubtedly going on in the background for round two of star wars visions and also for the young jedi adventures that ties into the higher public those are coming out next year so that's stuff in progress as well on the books front, this is going to be a very busy month, as it turns out. Like, good beach reading time, I guess. So the headline event is The Princess and the Scoundrel. That's the novel by Beth Revis that will detail the wedding and honeymoon of Han and Leia. Very exciting. I'm reading the advanced review copy right now and very much enjoying it. It's very cool. And there's also round four of the Essential Legends collection debuting. So there are three books in this particular round. One of them is Darth Maul Shadow Hunter. One of them is Death Troopers. And then the third of the four initial Rogue Squadron novels is coming out, The Krytos Trap. On the nonfiction side of the house, Riley Silverman has two books coming out in August, which is very cool. One of them is called Star Wars colon Galaxy's Edge colon Treasures from Batu, which is a combination reference book and swag book. There are a couple of artifacts, I think like a dozen or so, that are included with the book is very cool. And Riley also has Exploring Tatooine coming out, a reference book as well, both of those from Insight Editions. And then Inside Editions is also publishing the Padawan Cookbook by Jen Fujikawa and Liz Lee Heineke. So yeah, big month for Inside Editions too. On the audiobook front, and I'm particularly excited about this one too, The Princess and the Scoundrel, of course, is getting adapted into audiobook format, and it's co-narrated by Saskia Marleveld and Mark Thompson. Saskia does the narration for the first book in the Alphabet Squadron trilogy, Alphabet Squadron, <laughs> and I really, really enjoyed that one. And of course, Mark Thompson is a narrator extraordinaire, so it's going to be very fun to see their interplay as Leia and Han delivering this story. On the short story front, we are getting a new story in Star Wars Insider Magazine issue 212. It's the fourth and final Galactic Tales series tying into the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. This one is going to feature Mace Windu in a starring role, but we don't know anything about the story just yet. So still a mystery, but that will be coming down the pike. On the streaming front, the only thing that you know, seems to be missing at this point is a Disney Gallery episode or multiple episodes around the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. They did it for The Mandalorian. They did it for The Book of Boba Fett. Seems like they would be doing it for that as well. Haven't announced it yet. Don't know if it's coming, but fingers crossed that that will be happening. On the merchandise front, they did a Bring Home the Bounty for The Book of Boba Fett. They did an Obi-Wan Wednesday thing for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So when's the Andor thing happening? I imagine that there's going to be some sort of Andor merchandise merchandising campaign thing that's going to be announced sometime this month. They haven't announced it yet as of the date I'm recording this at least. So yeah, I would say keep an eye out because we'll probably be getting some Andor merch and we'll keep an eye out to see if we were able to learn anything interesting. I know we weren't able to glean a lot from the Obi-Wan Kenobi merch, but hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit more out of the Andor merch. On the virtual reality front, there have been no new announcements. And as somebody who grew up in California, I... <laughs> I, I was equating this to the notion of earthquakes. Like the longer you go without a big one, it feels like the higher the percentage gets with each successive day that you're going to get one. And that's how I'm feeling about the VR situation right now. Like the longer we go without an announcement of something new, the more likely it seems that, oh, this will be the month that it happens. So yeah, we don't know. We don't know. But they're bound to announce something. It just hasn't come yet. On the video game front, Star Wars Hunters, at some point here in the US, we just don't know when, maybe it's not gonna be until next year, I don't know, but hopefully it gets here sooner than that. And of course, they're working on Jedi Survivor, that's the other title that we can expect definitely by the end of 2023. That's the sequel, of course, to Jedi Fallen Order. 
And then other work on other Star Wars video games is happening in the background, and who the heck knows when those are coming out. So, yeah, we'll talk about those when we get closer to actual announcements and news and more confirmed release dates or even just like a year, it's even just a year, right? On the live event front, this will be the thing that circles back to what I was talking about with the movies situation. So the quarterly Disney investor call and earnings results are being announced on August 10th. And there is sometimes some Star Wars news announced with that. I think we're at the point where we know that a Star Wars movie is very likely not happening in December of 2023. So hearing what the plan is gonna be would be really lovely and that's a great place for them to make that kind of announcement. So yeah, and also to release an updated release calendar too, potentially. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be looking for in that uh, event that's happening on August 10th. As far as Star Wars Celebration London 2023 goes, so apparently there are only tickets for Monday the 10th of April left for adults. Kids four days and kids single days are available for all four days, but you have to have an adult ticket in order to get a kid's ticket. So that's the scoop with what's happening with Celebration uh, London tickets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no panels announced yet, no you know, programming or anything like that. They haven't even started accepting applications for you know fan stuff or cosplay stuff or you know giant prop stuff, like none of that yet. So it's still very early days with that. And one more category, which is the comics category. I saved this one for last this time. There's, as usual, a lot going on in the comics category and also one big announcement happening in the comics category. So all of the regular titles are happening. So Star Wars, Darth Vader, and Bounty Hunters are releasing issue number 26, and Dr. Aphra is releasing issue 23. On the miniseries side of things, the Halcyon Legacy series is ending with issue five. The Han Solo and Chewbacca series is ending with issue five. The Obi-Wan miniseries releases its fourth issue, and the second issue adapting season one of The Mandalorian is also gonna come out. But the big news is that the Dark Horse comics are about to begin. One of them is a regular ongoing title that is Hyperspace Stories. This is the series that's going to replace Star Wars Adventures that had been published by IDW. The other thing that's being published is a collection of comics from Star Wars Rebels Magazine and Star Wars Rebels Animation Magazine. So these were original stories that I think they were first published in the UK, actually, and they are now all being collected into one volume for our general enjoyment. New stories, well, they're not new. They started like back in 2015. So they've been around for a while, but this is the first time I think that they're gonna be widely available to audiences now. And thanks to Dark Horse in collecting them all together in this one volume. So that is very cool as well. So there you go, that's all 12 categories, movies, live action, animation, books, comics, audiobooks, short stories, virtual reality, video games, streaming, merchandising, and live events, and that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say, thank you so much for joining me for it as always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.